Hi, welcome to Mad Max channel. Another episode of Is It Worth the Gold? So, Belova. 320 average damage, 234 penetration, 2.6 aiming time, run about 6 rounds per minute, accuracy 0.31, and depressions 10 slash 38. Health, 1650. Acceptable. Five man crew. Frontal armor 150. Sides 180 on the rear. 120 on the turret front. And all round 880. Uh, front armor is sloped with a very prominent bottom plate. Rear armor, even so it's 80, it can ricochet depending on angle. Spot in itself, it's 421, but that's full crew and all that. Mobility, it's short of a 100 ton tank, 1000 horsepower engine, 11 horsepower per ton, 35 forward, 15 reverse, and traverse speed of 28. Anyway, from that, we're going to go to a quick gameplay and explain that a little bit behind her and make our minds up if it's worth the money. So, best things with this tank is you can side scrape with it. It is slow. So if there's artillery involved, take cover. If possible, hide the bottom plate as best as possible. This thing will ricochet quite a lot of rounds with sly angles. Being typically German, it was definitely over-engineered. But not with enough mobility on hand. Now, given this is a tier 9 game, with artillery involved, I am hogging this corner, but with good reasons. Like I say, aiming time is 2.68, which isn't brewing. These tanks have better aiming time, but with its accuracy, it's not that important. You can snapshot. By the thoughts are starting to tingle. I do really feel so sorry for going for that TD Russian tank line where you have to get past that vehicle. The A44 or something. It is awful. There's so many occasions with different tanks where I've wrecked it so quickly. This guy's just given up. He knows there's no point. He can't repair fast enough for him to get away. Right. T9 heavy. Close range. What is that, medium? Oh, he's reduced repair. Well, oh, even at point blank range, he managed to answer that one. So, oh, should I do the eco thing? Yeah, that one's gonna work. Well, not that way we're gonna go that fast anyway. So, from that point, would I say this tank is worth the money? Yes. Does it make money? Yes. Would I recommend it over the 
T34. If you like, have an ability to get yourself out of a multiple tank position, i.e. like a five versus one, if you ever get to that situation. This is a better tank. Rate of fire discipline does it, the accuracy does it, the penetration is not as good as the T-34, but it can at least pump the rounds up quicker. So with that, I would like to say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you fancy, and I'll catch you next time.